Hello, everyone, and welcome to Programming with Ruby, Episode 5, Numbers. It is still presented by me, Tyler, and brought to you by manwithcode.com. Covered in this episode, I will be talking about numbers in Ruby, I will go over expressions, the different types of numbers there are, and I will introduce you to a new variable type called a constant, and I will show you how to repeat an action a certain number of times in Ruby. So, without further ado, let's get started. Pop open your terminal or command prompt and start Interactive Ruby with the command IRB. Uh, so let me do that. Give me a second. And let me make, make that bigger for you. And let me start IRB, or Interactive Ruby. So first item is expressions. Uh, expressions are just regular math stuff like plus, minus, division, multiplication, stuff like that. So pretty easy. Just like that for addition 2 plus 2 wow I can't type today 2 minus 2 3 times 6 and 4 divided by 4 and there you go get all our results and also do something to the power of something else so 2 to the power of 5 you use 2 uh, asterisks or multiplication symbols and there you go now, expre expressions with variables work in exactly the same way, so I'll have x equals 5, and I'll do x times 5, and we get 25, or maybe, let's see what x to the power of 4 is, and 625. Um, now, say you want a variable to equal the result of the expression you use. So, say we want x to be, you know, x times 5. You know, we can type this, we can type that, and it works, x is 25, but there's a shortcut for us lazy programmers who hate to type so much. Do x times equals 5, or we can do plus equals 1. It works with the same with all the symbols. So, now you've learned about expressions, let's move on to the different types of numbers. There is fixed num, big num and floats. And what these are, these are different classes of numbers or objects or instantiated objects and whatever. Different types of numbers. So, fixed nums are numbers that can be represented with 32 bits or less. Something like 4 or 3 or whatever gives us fixed num. Don't worry if you don't know what I mean by can be represented by 32 bits. It doesn't freaking matter. Uh, then big nums are things that uh, are represented by more than 32 bits, so there are lots of numbers. Very, very big. Uh, and it's, there we go, big num. And floats are something with that has numbers after the decimal point. So let's say we have like 0.14 blah, 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 and that class is float. Pretty cool. Now, also, make sure uh, be sure to use fixed nums as, awesome, as often as possible, and not floats or big nums, because fixed nums use less, en less uh, computing power and memory, so keep that in mind. Um, now, on to constants, now that you know about the different types of numbers. Constants are things that never change, that's why they're called constants now. Ruby makes an exception to that rule, and I'll go over that in a second, but to make a constant, it is a variable defined in all capital letters. Say we want to have pi equals 3, whoop, sorry, 3.14. There we go, we have pi, and we can use that anywhere we want. Except, I told you that Ruby makes an exception to that rule. Yes, you can, in fact, change the value of pi. Totally pissing off mathematicians everywhere. But, uh, Ruby gives you a nice little warning, but now you have the power to change pi. So basically, constants are more of a reminder to fellow programmers and yourself that this number is not to be changed anywhere in the program. And you're just putting it in as a variable to make it easier to type or something like that. Uh, or if you ever need to change it, you know, you don't have to change a bunch of hard-coded numbers. Uh, now, I would like to show you a little trick. Say you have a big number, like one million. A little hard to tell if it's a million. You have to type, uh, count all the zeros. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, it's a million. But Ruby gives us an easier way. 
with underscores. Underscores let you separate out the different numbers so you can read it better. So I do one, da 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 da. And there we go, we still have a million, but it's a lot easier to read and tell that it is actually a million. Now, you've learned a neat little trick and you've learned about constants so far. Next thing is doing something a certain number of times. Let's, I don't know, let's just print the number we're looping over. 20, whoopsies, and we do 20 dot times. We type do, do x, and x gives us the current number of times we've iterated, and that's the pipe character in front of it, which is above your enter or return key. Now, do starts a block. I'll go over blocks later. Uh, so, yeah, you don't have to worry too much. They're pretty easy. Uh, they're everywhere in Ruby, so get used to them. So let's see. So we're going to do put s x and end. And there we go. It printed out 0 through 19 and not 1, li 1 through 20, like you might expect because, well, every <laughs> computers start counting at 0. So keep that in mind if you ever are doing something like that. Um, or we could just print, you know, say two times, do, don't actually need to do that x thing, uh, but you do if you want to use the variable, but, and we're going to say hello world, yay, print hello world twice, just like you'd expect. Okay, so, that wraps it up for this episode, please do not forget to donate, because these videos are free. And if you have any questions or comments, leave a comment below on the comment box or email me at tyler at manwithcode.com. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.